description. Genes provide the instruction for making specific proteins. RNA polymerase binds to the promoter of the DNA and unwinds the strand. The promoter determines which strand is used as a template. RNA polymerase unwinds the DNA and elongates the RNA transcript from 5 to 3 primer. It transcribes the sequence of DNA from the template strand. Instead of matching A with T, mRNA substitutes T with a U. RNA transcript is released and polymerase detaches from the DNA. The DNA reforms a double helix by itself. During mRNA processing, which occurs after transcription, eukaryotic cells modify RNA. Modified guanines are added to the 5' prime end of mRNA, forming a 5' prime cap. On the 3' prime end, around 50 to 250 adenine nucleotides are added to form a poly A tail. The purpose of mRNA processing is to protect the mRNA sequence from degradation by hydrolytic enzymes in the cytoplasm. In addition, the added guanines help ribosomes attach to the 5' prime end of mRNA once it reaches the cytoplasm. Translation. The mRNA moves to the cytoplasm and a small ribosomal unit binds to both mRNA and a specific initiator tRNA, which bears the first amino acid of a polypeptide. Then, a large ribosomal unit attaches to complete what is called the translation initiation complex. Initiation. In the large ribosomal unit, there are three sites, the A site, P site, and E site. The tRNA with the polypeptide chain sits in the P site. An amino acyl tRNA carrying an amino acid base pairs its anticodons with the complementary mRNA codon in the A site. This process requires the hydrolysis of GTP to GDP. The second step is when the amino acid of the A site binds to the carboxyl end of the polypeptide chain. This removes the, the polypeptide from the tRNA in the P site to the amino acid of the A site. The tRNA translocates from the A site to the P site, and at the same time, the empty tRNA in the P site is moved to the E site where it is released.